Hey there, YouTube. This is Vargas XX78 with part two of my Comic Con comic book pickups. So uh, let's get started with that. Picked up for fifty cents the trade of Apocalypse versus Dracula. Um, it was fifty cents. That's the main reason why I picked it up. The artwork is really good. Uh, but I I expected something more epic. I mean, it's it's Dracula. Versus Apocalypse, it's it's you know the, the two great immortals of the Marvel universe, and all they basically do is that they just uh, they play like this big uh, game of chess, where the other one tries to outwit the other, and uh, I don't know I expected a big big brawl between the two, and that didn't really happen. But still, uh, like I said, the artwork is really cool. So, like I said, fifty cents for the trade, I thought it was cool. Picked up Avengers Disassembled, uh, the 500th issue, uh, where things really, really look bad for the Avengers. I mean, they killed uh, Ant-Man, uh, they killed the Vision, just a whole bunch of stuff happening to the Avengers. That's really, really bleak, so... But, uh, really good artwork. I really like this. I was able to find some Age of Apocalypse books. I picked up A Generation Next, Issue 1. Uh, Colossus and Kitty Pride are trying to train a new team of young mutants. And Magneto sends them off to try to find uh, Ileana Rasputin, who's in Apocalypse, Apocalypse's Slaves Pens. So, and the story continues in Generation Next, Issue 2. Where they're trying to get information on where Ileana is. Then picked up uh, Factor X, Issue 2. In the Age of Apocalypse, uh, Scott Summers and uh, Alex Summers are, you know, they work for Sinister, who in turn works for Apocalypse, so, so yeah. Then Factor X, Issue 3 has the Dark Beast. This is a Hank McCoy that has no morals and is just really, really freaking evil. But uh, and it's still he's still alive in the main Marvel universe, so yeah, really cool. Age of Apocalypse picked up a What If Volume One issue thirty five. What if Elektra had lived? With a backup story, What if Yellow Jacket had died? I like mentioned this before. Love the What If series. Uh, picked up uh, Detective Comics issue zero. I'm trying to track down these issue series because they're they're really really cool. And uh, picked up Detective Comics issue six five six. Leading up to the Nightfall, uh, since Bane stars in this. And picked up Detective Comics issue six seventy seven. Nightwing versus Asbats. Picked up Detective Comics issue 798, uh, which was part of the War Games crossover. Picked up issue uh, 648 of Detective Comics. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to pick up all the Hush storylines, and this was the Heart of Hush, uh, where Hush actually uh, surgically removes Selena Kyle's uh, heart. So that was that was pretty intense. And then it concludes in issue 850, where uh, Batman finally reveals that he loves Catwoman. So really, really cool. Picked up uh, the anniversary. Issue, uh, the anniversary issue of Justice League of America, issue 250, featuring the triumphant return of the world's greatest heroes. Though they don't include Wonder Woman in the cover, but oh well. Picked up uh, Justice League of America, issue 185. Picked it up because Darkseid is in it. It's a really cool cover. Picked up uh, Justice League of America, I'm just, sorry, it's actually Justice League International Annual Issue 2, 
pri uh, it was another storyline called The Private Lives, but it stars the Joker. So really, really had to buy it because it has the Joker. Picked up a Justice League of America issue 69 where the Justice League is trying to stop the Doomsday Monster and they're failing miserably. But it's, you know, a Doomsday issue. Picked up uh, Justice League Annual Number 1 during their uh, Pulp Hero storyline and they focus on uh, the Martian Manhunter. Uh, don't collect Thor, but I couldn't pass this up. It's uh, the Mighty Thor issue 410, and it has in the cover while at Varia trembles, Doctor Doom versus Doctor Doom, and this is where uh, Kristoff uh, actually believes he's the real Doctor Doom, and the real Doctor Doom is trying to re reclaim his throne in Latveria. But you know, uh, how could I pass this up? I mean, I don't collect Thor, but it's Doctor Doom. He's like my favorite Marvel villain. Uh, picked up the Mighty Avengers, the only Mighty Avengers I was able to find, issue 26, uh, where Hank Pym's team is trying to take down the Fantastic Four. Uh, the only Wonder Woman issue I was able to find, Wonder Woman, issue 126, A World Without Wonder Woman. And this is where Wonder Woman died. Because, you know, uh, when this comic came out, uh, everyone was dying or being replaced. Uh, so, you know, why not Wonder Woman? Picked up uh, Fantastic Four issue 288. Doctor Doom versus The Beyonder. The Beyonder is like this godlike being that is able to alter reality. And, you know, he's facing off against Doctor Doom. So, how could I pass it up? It's Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom. Picked up the rematch in issue 319. Dr. Doom versus The Beyonder. Featuring the Molecule Man, which is another uh, reality-altering bad guy. But, you know, it's the big rematch between Dr. Doom and The Beyonder. Uh, the giant 350th issue of Fantastic Four. Uh, you could probably guess why I picked it up. But yeah. Picked up issue 365 of the Fantastic Four. So-so issue. Now, 366. That's a better issue. Uh, this, is a, uh, this crosses over with the Infinity War which is the sequel to the Infinity Gauntlet. So uh, the main threat here is that there's all these doppelgangers, uh, evil versions of the heroes, that are trying to assimilate the main heroes and turn them evil. So first off is Reed Richards, who actually falls and becomes evil. And then in issue 367, the Thing faces off against his Thing doppelganger. In issue 368, the Human Torch uh, faces off against X-Men doppelgangers. And in issue 369, the Invisible Woman is actually corrupted by uh, this uh, evil personality that's in her. I thought uh, it was actually uh, the Mr. Sinister Reaver malice, but no, it's, it's a different personality. Then we have issue 381 of the Fantastic Four for no more. Because they're fighting uh, Doctor Doom in, in this issue and they actually defeat him pretty badly. So, uh, you know, as his last bit of revenge, he actually blows up along uh, Reed Richards. So, so it appears they both died in this issue. And we have issue 401 of Fantastic Four. Issue 403, uh, the Fantastic Four reach an island, and everyone's uh, this, uh, they're like the thing, they, they, they have the, the rocky skin and everything. 
then issue 404 guest starring Namor then we have issue 405 featuring Starco the Tomorrow Man uh, they actually find out that uh, Reed Richards is alive he didn't actually blow up he was thrown back in time so they gotta go rescue him and they do so and meet up with him in issue 407 he was stuck in medieval times trying to survive but Reed returns and we got issue 416 which I picked up because it's a part two of the onslaught uh, saga that crossed over with Fantastic Four and it's a really cool wraparound cover where uh, in this issue Onslaught is trying to abduct Franklin Richards uh, to harness his ultra uh, alt reality altering powers and we got issue 582 with a beautiful cover of the Invisible Woman by the late great uh, Mike Waringo and we got issue 488 with a really cool cover I know this guy uh, I, I'm not I don't remember his name but he uh, drew a lot of uh, manga books and he did a really cool Batman manga book but really really cool cover we got Fantastic Four issue 502 another beautiful cover by Mike Waringo And we got issue 515. Then we got issue 526. With the torch and the thing. Got issue 527. Which, unless I'm wrong, is the first issue written uh, of the Fantastic Four, is written by uh, J. Michael Drusinski. I really like his his writing. Issue five twenty eight. Five thirty. Five thirty three. And no, they don't actually fight the Hulk, it's just one of those deceptive covers. Issue 536, the Hammer of Thor being yelled by Doctor Doom. Issue 539, one of those Civil War crossovers. Issue 548 with a beautiful Michael Turner cover, another great artist that that we lost, but yeah really cool cover this is where a uh, storm and the black panther briefly joined the fantastic four and we got issue 552 another doctor doom we got issue 553 another beautiful michael turner cover And we got issue 558 with, well, you know who that is. And finally, we got issue 563 of Fantastic Four, where the thing gets engaged. So, yeah. Really good pickups, like I said. 90% uh, of them cost me 50 cents, so how could I pass that up? Uh, so yeah, <laughs> added a lot of books to the collection, but they're really worth it, and they're really cool, so yeah. Well, like always, uh, thanks so much for watching my really long videos, and until I see you again, this is Vargas XX78, signing off.